Dear students, in this module, I am going to introduce you to aligning sequences. You know that the sequences can vary with an insertion, with a deletion, or by a substitution. For instance, if you are trying to compare two DNA sequences, they may vary by either the existence of a different nucleotide or with an addition of a nucleotide or with the deletion of a nucleotide and similarly for RNA and protein molecules as well. So towards comparing two DNA or RNA or protein molecules, we need to align the two sequences. So before we get about aligning these two sequences, we need to know which approaches exist that we can employ to align the sequences. So generally there are two approaches. The first one is the global alignment and the second one is the local alignment. So let's start with the local alignment. Local alignment essentially focuses on matching one sequence with a portion of the second sequence. So let's say if you have a sequence like this, then you're trying to match another second sequence with any portion of the bigger sequence. I have given you an example here where you have 5 prime to 3 prime DNA sequence on top and another 5 prime to 3 prime sequence on the bottom. Now if you look carefully at this, so what has happened is I have slided this sequence along this sequence and found out somehow that these four nucleotides they're matching exactly as you can see TACT matches with TACT next I also found out that these two nucleotides were not matching the T and C this was followed by a very long sequence that matched exactly with the sequence on top this was followed by another gap here C and G and then we had a rather long sequence that existed in both of these sequences so the idea is that the entire sequence matched except for the first few parts which did not exist in the second sequence the later portion and a couple of nucleotides in the sequence as well. So this is equivalent to matching one sequence with a portion of the second sequence. So this is generally called local alignment. Local alignment is a very useful concept and allows you to search for specific shorter sequences in longer sequences in DNA or proteins. Now global alignment. As you just saw that I was trying to align two sequences by searching for the smaller sequence in the bigger sequence. Here in global alignment what I have done is I have stretched the shorter sequence till a point where the start of the longer sequence as well as its end this is the start and this is the end and the shorter sequence have the same start and end. So if you consider the shorter sequence like a rubber band then I have stretched the rubber band to become equal in size to the longer sequence given on top that is this sequence. So once again what I have done is I have created an end to end match of one sequence with the second sequence. How I have managed to do that is by stretching the shorter sequence in a way that the start and the end of both sequences is the same. So in conclusion, the local alignment focuses on specific sequences between the longer and the shorter sequence, while the global sequence alignment focuses on the overall end-to-end -end match between the two sequences.